Number 7. Tell me, after my head has been chopped off, will I still be able to hear, at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be the pleasure to end all pleasures. Peter Curtin. Peter Curtin was a German serial killer who sexually assaulted and killed at least nine individuals between 1913 and 1929. After being imprisoned, Curtin confided that he was compelled to kill due to the sexual satisfaction he received from the sight of blood. In at least one incident, he's believed to have drunk his victim's blood, thus earning him the name, the Vampire of Dusseldorf. He was beheaded via guillotine in 1931. Number 6. I love you, my babies. There is no way words can express how sorry I am for taking the lives of my babies. Now I can be with my babies, as I always intended. Christina Marie Riggs. In 2000, Christina Marie Riggs became the first woman executed in Arkansas in more than 150 years. Riggs was found guilty for the murder of her two children, ages 5 and 2. Immediately after, Riggs unsuccessfully attempted to kill herself. Due to her depression and desire to die, her execution was controversial, as some believed it was essentially state-assisted suicide. Number 5. Turn up the radio and I'll go quietly. Peter Manuel. Considered to be Scotland's worst serial killer, Peter Manuel was called, the Beast of Birkinshaw. Manuel was responsible for the death of seven to nine individuals before being arrested by police. Shortly before being sentenced to death by hanging in 1958, Manuel attempted to stay his execution by means of insanity, but it failed, partially due to efforts by his own mother. Number 4. I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6th. Like the movie, Big Mothership and all. I'll be back. Aileen Wuornos. Before her execution in 2002, Aileen Wuornos became one of the most recognized names in America due to her highly publicized court case. Wuornos, who had worked as a prostitute in Florida, killed at least six men. During her trial, Wuornos stated that the men had tried to sexually assault her and claimed self-defense, but it didn't hold up in court. She's often referred to as America's most famous female serial killer. Number 3. I don't care if I live or die. Go ahead and kill me. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer is, without a doubt, one of the most well-known serial killers of modern history. Responsible for at least 17 murders, the grisly details of Dahmer's cases include cannibalism and necrophilia. By the time he was in prison, however, he appeared to have given up. Dahmer was not executed but rather was beaten to death by a fellow inmate in 1994, and it was then he reportedly uttered his final words. Number 2. I deserve what I am getting. Angel Resendez. Angel Resendez's words are particularly chilling, due to the fact that Resendez believed he was half man and half angel and could not be killed. Before being executed in 2006, Resendez was referred to as the railroad killer, due to the fact that he rode the rail system across several state lines in order to kill up to 14 people. Number 1. I'd like to give my blessing to all the people that seek to save my life, and I'd like to curse everyone that seek to take my life. Farewell. Van Roosevelt Solomon. Van Roosevelt Solomon was a Baptist preacher in Georgia before he was sentenced to death for the murder of a convenience store clerk in 1985. His execution, which was carried out via electric chair, was highly protested.